So this is the dairy parlor. This is typically where cows will come in and get milked. So what happens is a cows every morning, typically it's twice a day. So every morning and every evening, the cow will get in line and they will go to their own stall or stanchion. And what the person will do or the farmer, they'll come up to the cow, they'll clean what is called the udder. The udder is the place where the milk is stored and comes from. They'll put the machine on the udder and the machine will use the mechanics and it will suck the milk out of the udder. It will, prove, it will leave enough for the baby, but it will suck all the milk out of the udder. And what will happen then is the milk will then be put in a big holding tank. And that will be what we call pasteurized. Pasteurization is when we get the milk high enough temperature that it kills all the bad things, including bacteria or germs, the things that can make us sick. So what we'll do is the farmer will ha use the machine connected to the cow's udder. The machine will suck out the milk and it's all good for the cow. It doesn't harm the cow at all. But once the milk is taken out, it will go into a big tank. The tank will sterilize or pasteurize the milk. The milk will then go onto a big truck. The truck will then take it to a big facility where they will pasteurize it. And then they'll start bottling it. They'll put it in a carton and then they take it to your store or the store will come pick it up. And that's when you take it off the shelf and then you pour it into your bowl of cereal or whatever you're making. That is how milk gets from the cow to cereal. But how many gallons of milk does a cow produce exactly? The average is eight to 10 gallons of milk a day. That's a lot of milk. The average person doesn't drink that much in a day. But cows produce a lot of milk. This milk is used also to make different things, including ice cream or cheese. Milk is in a lot of the different things that we eat, but it is so healthy for us. It makes, it gives us calcium, which makes us have some very strong bones. It's also good for us in that it helps just building us stronger. Whole milk is what people would say is the least it is the least expensive that's because it has it's typically the least amount of processed but things like skim milk is typically more expensive than whole milk because it is more processed so whole milk is 97% fat free. So it has only 3% of, of fat in it. Skim milk has 0% of fat. But the thing is, whole milk also is a lot more creamier than skim milk. Me, I preference whole milk because it adds a lot more creamier to it. But then higher fat would include things like cream that you would pour into different drinks including coffee or whipped cream which is very heavy cream that is whipped really fast so it adds air and it makes the whipped cream cream or milk is very important in all of our diets and i hope you drink more of it because it is so good for us